Hello everybody, this is Optron Prime here, and uh, I'm here tonight doing my first ever video review. And I know it's been a long time coming, but I've just now been able to have my review station set up and have a tripod that works with a microphone and everything attached to it, so we're going to see how this goes, and I figured for my very first video review, I'd shoot one that's on something that's still kind of new so here tonight I have I'm going to take a look at the uh, Transformers Earthrise Deluxe Class smoke screen and I gotta tell you right away I I like this new mold um, I have the I have three of the original Siege members, and I'll bring them in for a comparison here in just a little bit. But this is the new Earthrise mold, and uh, I gotta tell you, the door's not tabbed in flush there. Yeah, that, that's one of the tolerance things on this mold, but I still like it. Uh, this is the new mold. I've got Blue Streak on the way. He should be here next weekend. And Prowl should be coming from Amazon in a couple of weeks, so I'll have all of those. But this is the one I got first. This is Smokescreen, and uh, I like the the colors on him. Let's get in a little bit closer here so we can I can take a look at the uh, details of him. A nice 80 on his doors there. He comes with his shoulder guns and his main gun, like the Masterpiece toy did, and... I thought about bringing the masterpiece in, but I probably will do that with a different figure. I do have the masterpiece smokescreen, but I think I'm going to stick with Deluxes and Voyagers for comparison for this one. But um, nice white on the front bumper here, nice black paint there for some of the bumper. Nice headlights there, I like those. They are, looks to be clear, very dark blue. Uh, nice Autobot symbol with white outline on it and I'm personally a fan of when they do clear plastic but they kind of make it smoky looking I like that the wheels are clip on but that doesn't bother me at all he does still roll very nicely and uh, let's see he doesn't have tail lights but that's okay it doesn't bother me any at all and there's a seam back here some of the tolerances on this new mold are not as good as, say, the Siege mold, but I don't have the Siege smoke screen, but I have the other three versions of that mold, so we'll take a look at those in a minute. But we'll take a look at the uh, underside. You can kind of see his whole robot mode there with the arms and the head, and the legs are tucked up back here, but in all honesty, I mean, that's what he's always done you look at the masterpiece toy the arms are folded up up here the legs are back here there's really no difference it's just a deluxe modern take on the old G1 smoke screen and I like it I really like it uh, some of the tolerance issues on this mold for those of you that don't have it yet the roof does stick up a little bit and you can't really push it flush no matter how hard you try and I have heard that issue I reported on Blue Streak as well, so I'm guessing it's going to be a mold-wide deal, but it doesn't really bother me that much because if I display him in vehicle mode, he's like this, you know, just like that, so I'm not really looking at him like that from the top and be like, oh, look, the roof is jacked up, but there's, there's always going to be a seam back here for the legs. Not much you can do about that. But I'm not here to harp on the QC of the figure. I'm here to take a look at him. And in my opinion, I like this. And I can't wait to have Blue Streak and Prowl. So with that out of the way, we will do a few comparisons with him. With a Wave 1 guy, here's Earthrise Cliff Jumper. And of course, Cliff Jumper is going to be small. He's a mini bot. So clearly, Smokescreen is a lot bigger than him. Uh, looks to be, yep, even taller than him by about, say, a quarter inch or so. Wider by 
a little bit and longer so and but this guy over I like this guy more than this guy because he doesn't parts form even though I am gonna I do have hubcap and I am gonna get bumblebee when I find him because despite the parts forming I still like this mold so there's cliff jumper with him here he is with siege prowl and you can see they are pretty much exactly the same size although this is more of a Cybertronian look, and this is more Earth mode, hence Siege and Earthrise. So I can only guess that Prowl, when he comes out, is going to look a lot more like this guy, because I don't have him yet, so I can't wait to see that. But, yeah, the transformation looks to be just about the same on these guys, with a few minor differences in the leg region. But, there's Prowl. I do have... Siege Blue Streak. So there they are together. And he actually is one of the ones that comes with shoulder guns. I do appreciate that. Um, same kind of deal with the mold there. And the transformations for these two molds are almost the same with some minor differences. And here is Siege Barricade. I, I really like this is probably my favorite of the siege mold guys partly because black is my favorite color and I just love the look of the Cybertronian police car with the markings and stuff on him and I will take a look at all the guys that you've seen comparisons of but I wanted to start with something that's fairly new and I think that's about it for vehicle mode I can bring in siege sideswipe since I just looked over and saw him uh, smoke screen and side swipe are, yeah, about the same length and side swipe is wider. And, uh, I've got the whole Wave 3 Deluxes coming. I just finished Wave 2 Deluxes. And I've got Wave 3 on the way, so I'm waiting. I'm really looking forward to all of them. Well, Fast Track is my least anticipated, but I still want him to go with Scorponok, whom I love. I love Scorponok, so... That's about it for the vehicle mode on this guy. So we will go ahead and get down to transformation. And I leave his shoulder guns attached because they stay there in that same spot. So go ahead and remove the gun from his roof. And I'm going to do this the way I always do it. I don't know if it's the way the instructions say, but we're going to get the same end result. So transformation. Open up the doors. And then I, what I like to do first is go ahead and take care of the arms. So bring them up towards the front of the vehicle and splay them out. And we're going to leave them like that for the time being. Now this is kind of difficult, especially if you don't have fingernails, getting these pieces out. But we're going to try it. These are his heels in robot mode. This one looks like it's moving. So there's that side. And that side hasn't moved yet. There it goes. Okay. We're going to we're going to bring the legs down and extend them all the way out. It's it's almost like the masterpiece transformation in a way. Uh, rotate the waist 180 degrees there. I'm going to go ahead and split the legs and come to the inside of the legs and there's a little black panel in here. And we're going to flip that down on both sides. Now he is hollow inside the back of the leg, but that's nothing new for the Transformers toy line. And if you're anything like me, you don't display your figures like this, so you don't see the hollowness back there. You just see what's meant to be seen, the front. Now this is kind of difficult to line up a little bit, but we're going to go ahead and push the hood from the top and push it down until it it hits the front of the vehicle now you have to kind of be careful with what you're doing here on this part of the transformation because there are little tabs right here on both sides and you want the tabs to go in front of this ridge right here it's very important if you want to line up the head and everything else in the right spot to bring that down like that 
and then this tab on the hood piece is going to go in to that slot right there it's, you can kind of see it's there so we're going to bring that down and make sure this is realigned because I misaligned it this is going to clip in it kind of soft clips into place but you will hear it and somewhat feel it rotate the head 180 degrees and I love his head sculpt but we'll get into more of that when we finish the transformation rotate the arms 90 degrees backwards to where the wheels are facing backwards and just bring them down and you can do whatever you want with the door wings I just tend, generally tend to leave them all the way out although you can you can kinda angle them back or whatever you want to do but I like to leave them angle back slightly I guess and see if we can bring the camera down a little bit and we'll put the gun in his hand here now that's not the right angle moving back a little bit there is smoke screen in robot mode he's still too far forward I'm still kind of learning to use this tripod. This is the first time I've used it, so bear with me. I'll try to get the hang of it for the next go around. But there is smoke screen in robot mode. And we'll bring him in a little bit closer. Um, it's the typical Dotson Brothers look with the hood chest and the door wings and the back of the car forms the legs and all that. But I got to tell you, I absolutely love this thing. Uh, there's more blue on it than there would be on the masterpiece, I believe, but I don't care. I'm not one of those people that goes nuts over lack of paint, you know. So, let's take a look at the details on this guy. Nice molded in details on the shoulders there. I really do like that. And, uh, it's still got all the same details from vehicle mode. The forearms are nicely molded with some ports there on the the uh, forearm and the upper arm and uh, nice molded in detail on those sections there he does have molded fingers although they do not move nice molded in detail on the abdomen crotch area with the arrow that the Dotson brothers I believe have it's not painted or anything, but like I said, I don't really mind that so much. Nice molded in details on his thighs, you know, the thighs are white, which works for me just fine. But some really nice molded in details there. So, and some actually nice molded in details on the calf area. They didn't have to mold in anything there, but they did, and I'm glad they did. And then, of course, the... Uh, feet are formed from the rear of the car so all that same detail from car mode is there and turn around to the back give you a look at the back yes he's hollow back here but really I mean I don't display my figures facing the wall so I don't tend to notice it but the heels actually do help him stand very well so I appreciate that but let's finish taking a look at him here they molded in some nice detail on the inside of this door here. I absolutely love it when they go the extra mile and mold in some details that they don't have to because you're not really going to look at it unless you're, you know, looking for it. If you're just displaying him like this, you don't see a lot of this molded detail, but it's there and I appreciate it. So, the gun to me looks nice. You know, it's kind of molded to be indented in some spots but really that doesn't bother me at all and it's a solid blue but that's fine so with that out of the way we will do a few comparisons here back him up a little bit here he is with Siege Ratchet a Walgreens exclusive that I was also never able to find I picked him up at a convention that I went to and he is very good 
I actually do have Siege Ironhide and Crosshairs, and I will probably take a look at those at some point in the future. I've got a lot of stuff to take a look at, but I wanted my first review to be a fairly new figure. So there's Siege Ratchet. Here is one of his wave mates, Earthrise Airwave. And I gotta tell you, I love Airwave. Um, I think my preferred alt mode for him will be the vehicle looking mode, but I also do love his road street mode, whatever you want to call it. So when I take a look at this guy, I'll show all those modes off. But my preferred alt mode for him will be the vehicle mode. But there's Airwave. And while I'm thinking about it, I might transform one of the Siege guys and take a look at that. So while I'm working on that, here is the big boss bot, Earthrise Optimus. Got to say, I really like him. And while Optimus is standing there, I'm going to try to transform the Siege one of the siege mold for you I think I'm gonna stick I'm gonna show him off with the Decepticon just to show you kind of the differences between the two versions of the mold and bear with me I'm working on it I don't plan to do any editing in these video reviews so if I randomly decide to transform something during the review just bear with me because editing takes a lot of time that I really don't have so anywho we're almost done with this siege bot we're just working on the arms right now and okay what is that it's a sticker of some sort I thought I thought something broke on this guy no we're good okay so with that out of the way ah, that snapped it didn't snap off it just came out of place so there's Optimus and here he is with one of the siege mold here he is with barricade I just transformed him off camera and I gotta tell you the the differences in the mold are more than I thought they were I just found that out while I was transforming this guy but some of the differences, the abdomen region on this guy folds out from under the hood while this guy doesn't. Um, the head sculpts obviously are going to be different. They're different characters. But you can kind of see that the arms are more or less the same with the exception of these panels here that move on the Siege version. Yeah, these panels articulate on the Siege version while uh, these are molded in place. The hip, hip region is different because of the transformation. And this is obviously more Cybertronian than this. So there's that. The feet are formed differently on these two guys. The heel spur forms from just under the car and it's a bigger heel than on this guy so the differences are more than I had rem initially remembered but that just means that Hasbro is going the extra mile to differentiate between Cybertronian and Earth modes and I can greatly appreciate that so there he is with Barricade and yeah so my thoughts on Earthrise Smokescreen Love him. Can't wait to have the other two Dotson brothers. Should have Blue Streak next weekend and have Prowl here in a couple weeks, I imagine. Because Amazon, as far as I know, hasn't canceled my pre-order on them like they did the Coneheads. We'll get into that later. But yeah, my thoughts on Smokescreen. I love him. And I can't wait to own the other versions of the mold. So, guys, this has been my first ever video review, and I'm hoping to make some more. But if you guys like this video, please like it, comment, 
and subscribe, whatever it is you want to do. I'll answer any comments that you have if I can, you know, when I read them. And that's about all I have for you guys. So thank you guys for watching this video. This has been my first review of the Transformers Earthrise smokescreen. And this is Optotron Prime saying, roll out.